RV doctor. I'm here with Lee Thaxton, president of RV Armor. Lee, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Jerry? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too, buddy. You know, a lot of the RVers I run around with in the uh, seminars that I present actually have some questions that they wanted me to ask you. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Absolutely not, buddy. Fire away. Okay. Question. Yeah. RV Armor is designed with the RVer in mind, so you say. What does that actually mean? Well, it basically means that as RVers ourselves, when we set out to uh, start RV Armor, we wanted to make sure that we made it you know, convenient and, and answer all the problems that people have as RVers. Because we know what it's like to have to go to a service center and go for weeks on end or days on end. And some of the things are just difficult as an RVer. So we want to make it as easy as possible. Now, a lot of the questions I get from a lot of interesting readers in my column is that they have a lot of seams up on the roof. You know, there's seams for the roofing material itself. There's seams around the moldings and around all the vents and antennas and everything you see on the top of a recreational vehicle. Right. Um, yours is seamless. How, how does explain that? Well, basically what we've done, Gary, is we've flipped the roofing equation upside down. So ah. basically, instead of coming in, if I was to take this tabletop here and tell you that this was the top of your RV, and I was to take a TPO or an EPDM or any other kind of membrane, I was going to try to get it to attach to this. The only thing that I can make it attach to it is to glue it, right? Right. And then I'm going to cut a bunch of holes in it for your vents and your plumbing stacks and your skylights and all that kind of stuff. And the only way for me to stop water now from coming in those holes is to what? Caulk it, caulk seal it, it, seal right. it, you will right. caulk, whatever. Right. All of those types of things. So what we've done is we flipped it upside down. Instead of pre-manufacturing it into a sheet form, ours is going to go on a liquid form, and uh -huh. then it's going to allow it to dry in place and become a molded one-piece unit. So what that basically does is it eliminates all exposed caulking so that it eliminates one more problem area on the coach. And we also include the front caps and the back caps as well as the gutters on every coach. So, so literally it's tied it's together. It's all basically what we're doing is we're creating a molded one-piece unit or one-piece roof and the only way that we can do it is to create a put it on in a liquid form. It still becomes a membrane. Mm -hmm. It's just becoming a membrane in place rather than making it a sheet and trying to make it work after the fact. Now the term maintenance free has been bandied about by a lot of people over a lot of years. For instance, maintenance free batteries are not really maintenance free. What right. do you, how do you define the term maintenance free? All right. I will let you know that ours is virtually maintenance free. Ah. So basically what ends up happening is that normally in a, a traditional roofing environment, in an RV, you've got to go up and you have to deal with UV treatments, resealing, recaulking, inspections. You're constantly having to deal with the roof itself. Mm -hmm. RV Armor is maintenance free from that standpoint because once our roof system is done and complete, it's not only seamless like we talked about previously, but it's maintenance free. The caveat there is that we won't wash it for you. <laughs> now aside from the initial costs, what other ongoing costs does the RVer have to endure? Well that's one of the other advantages of RV armor is because it literally is maintenance free, except for washing it like I talked to you about earlier. <laughs> no, but all serious, all kidding inside. Uh, that because RV Armored is maintenance free. There is no ongoing cost. So whatever you pay up front, because it's a lifetime warranty uh, material and labor roof, there is no maintenance cost and it'll be the same 10 years or 20 years. Traditionally what ends up happening, whether you put on a new roof at a dealer or from the factory and you're dealing with UV treatments and recaulking and resealing, is that every year you're spending 200, 300, 500, 800. I know people have spent a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars with their caulking and stuff redone. Right. And so it's a constant. So when you start adding the, the life cost of what that would cost you to maintain your roof over the course of years, it's pretty substantial. And so, you know, and, and, and most roofs last eight to ten years and you have to replace it and do that again. So you're talking about replacement costs, maintenance costs, and with RV Armor it's a one-time application and a very reasonable cost, and then you're done. You're done. RV Armor has a lifetime warranty. Explain how a lifetime warranty actually works. Well, uh, a lifetime warranty for us is a material and labor warranty. 
and it's good for the life of the RV itself. So we actually put it in and track it by the VIN number. So it's a selling advantage for our customers because we know not everybody keeps their RVs forever mm -hmm. uh, when you trade it in or sell it to somebody else. Uh, and what really makes our lifetime warranty uh, so special in my eyes is the fact that it's the real deal. Mm -hmm. We don't have a thousand escape clauses. There's not all these conditions and that you have to do so many things or keep up with the maintenance because ours is maintenance free. free. Right. So uh, really there's only two things that really uh, potentially uh, uh, don't aren't covered under your warranty and both of those really are insurance related one is an act of God and one is a vehicle accident so the only other item that we don't include is really if somebody was to go up there and put items up there and use a non-compatible product on our on our roof itself but mm -hmm. outside of that there's zero we don't care if you wash it or you don't wash it mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to get up there and maintain or to do anything so it's a real deal warranty for the life of the RV itself a lot of people in my seminars always ask uh, about breaking their roof vent or ding dinging the ladder on the rear of the coach or knocking off a sewer vent by a tree branch. How do you handle those non-warranty type repairs that might be necessary? Sure. I'll, t I'll try to address this in a couple of quick fashions. You know, one is going to be if you damage something, uh, let's say a tree limb or something fell on a skylight, broke a skylight. Let's just pick a skylight. Could have been anything. Sure. But we're just going to pick on a skylight for a minute. Uh, in that instance, what you're going to do is you're going to simply call us because we have techs all over the country. We're going to be able to come out and mobile to you, and we're going to be able to repair that. And when we do our repair, our system goes on as a liquid. It's going to remold back into the rest of the roof, and you wouldn't even know that a repair had been made. Now these are factory trained technicians, correct? They're not just local RV dealers. No, the, all, all the folks really work for us. They're trained by us. They work with us. We, we, they're mobile. Many, many of them, over 80% of our techs are also full-time RVers. We like to promote uh, people that want to travel and work. It's good for them to be able to be able to travel and work. It's good for us to be able to get some good quality folks out in the field. So these are people that uh, have a little bit of age on them, understand the RV industry because they're RV themselves. Mm -hmm. We touched on factory trained personnel that you have. Could you elaborate a little bit more? What do you mean by factory trained? How does that training actually take place? Sure. Each one of our techs go through a one week training course and it's a full hands on, full contact sport for a full week. And uh, when they're done with a full week, they know, know everything that's possible about RV armor, whether it's wood replacement, radius work, if it's going to be you know, our system itself. And, and there's also going to be some classroom involved there and they walk away with a 40 some page manual manual with pictures. We, every one of our techs also go through a full photography lesson because every one of our techs have to give a full detailed uh, report on every job so we get to see every picture along. including all the photo they take the photographs after the they, job they take they take a step-by-step -step, uh, photograph of every job and it's for our records as well as the clients if they so choose they want to see it but it's mainly for our records so that we at the office can have an idea of exactly what's going on out in the field because we're talking about techs all over the country so we have to be able to maintain and know what's being what's being done but the beautiful thing is that uh, like I said earlier, most of our techs are RVers themselves. Some are uh, in their 30s and 40s, some are in their 50s, some are in their 60s, and so some are full-time, some are part-time, some are semi-retired, some are retired. So we've got folks that understand RVing, they understand uh, craftsmanship, they understand detail, because one of the things that's important, even though the most important thing is we want to make sure it's watertight for life, the second most thing, important thing is detail and making sure that it looks good. So we're looking for people that have the craftsmanship and the ability to have details, and they have to just be good, genuine people. Mm -hmm. Could you sum up some final thoughts about why you feel an RVer should get an RV armor roof? Sure. Uh, obviously, I'm biased because it's our company, but the reality is, is that uh, everybody should have an RV armor roof or a seamless roof because this technology is now available. We're just trying to keep people off of the roof keep them safe, have no maintenance. You bought your RV so you could go out and enjoy it and we want you to enjoy it. 
Uh, but besides the fact that we feel like we've got the best roof on the planet, when we've got the best installers on the planet, we've got the best support team on the planet, as far as, far as we're concerned. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is that we hope that you'll choose us because we genuinely care. We feel like we're a little bit old fashioned. We really believe in, in high, high quality service. Every customer really counts. You're an RVer, folks. So that, you know, you're, you're an RVer. Our, our customers are RVers. You know, we we actually eat, breathe, and live the RV lifestyle. And so we care about our community and we care about our customers and, and hopefully that's what sets us apart from our competition. Well, you've certainly answered my questions and I'm sure this will satisfy some of the questions that uh, the viewers might have as well. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Oh, absolutely. It's always good seeing you, Gary. There you have it, folks. RV Armor, Serious RVers. Take a look at rv-armor.com. See what you think. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Gary. Thank you.